80 kilometer an hour winds and relentless rain hit Alabama, Louisiana and the Florida Panhandle as tropical storm Claudette slammed into the southeast. The storm also triggered multiple tornadoes. All of a sudden the trees kind of just it was just like they imploded. In Bruton, Alabama, trucks ended up on houses. At least 50 structures were destroyed. The entire roof was ripped off this high school auditorium. We're in recovery efforts now, just trying to make sure we've, we've cleared all the residences, make sure there's no one in there. Other areas were spared the twisters, but were hit with massive flooding. Ten people, including nine children, were killed in a multi-vehicle crash in Alabama. The coroner says the accident was likely caused by hydroplaning on wet roads. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating. While parts of the east are drenched, parts of the west are desperate for rain. Tens of millions of people are under extreme heat advisories. It's exhausting. It's just kind of draining. Temperatures from Missouri to California are shattering daily records. Residents and workers are doing everything they can to beat the heat. We try to get out there about seven, eight o'clock, you know, to cut us a few hours from, from dealing with the sun. The Environmental Protection Agency says America is suffering more intense heat waves every year, and they're starting earlier each year. Paramedics in Dallas have been swamped with calls. Anyone in the city who's working outdoors, not in a climate controlled environment, is absolutely at risk for heat stroke or heat exhaustion. The Las Vegas Strip hit a scorching 45 degrees Celsius, shattering an 81 year record. In California, residents are being asked to voluntarily conserve power, not use major appliances and unplug anything they can, as soaring temperatures force power companies to conduct rolling blackouts. We have fans and that's all. We just keep the, the windows open and we try to have that uh, cross air. With no rain and high heat, California is once again dealing with wildfires. I got a text message from a friend saying that there was going to be an evacuation. We need to get out of here. Federal experts say more mega heat waves are on their way. The National Weather Service predicts most of the country will experience above average temperatures over the next three months, making it a more dangerous summer than normal. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.